It's National Blueberry Muffin Day. So in this video, we are taking fresh blueberries and making healthy blueberry muffins. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, start now by hitting that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Blueberries are certainly one of the fruits of the season and one of the treats that always go along with blueberries is blueberry muffins and nothing tastes better than blueberry muffins in the morning with a hot cup of coffee or a glass of milk. So since today is National Blueberry Muffin Day, I thought I would take this opportunity to make this healthy version of blueberry muffins and one of the ingredients we put in it is rolled oats. So whole wheat flour and rolled oats to really give it just a little bit extra. Mm. Now this was a very moist, healthy blueberry muffins recipe and I found it on the Well Plated by Aaron website. And I tell you what, it just made up so easily. And it could be because this was the second batch of blueberry muffins I'd made in a couple of days, but it just went together so quickly. Once I got the blueberries rinsed, I set them aside and then began to put my dry ingredients together. I put in one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, three quarter cups of old fashioned rolled oats, and I had just barely enough rolled oats for this recipe. I mean, I was scraping the bottom of the box. One and a half cups of lightly packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one half teaspoon of kosher salt. And then I mixed all the dry ingredients together. But I put together one cup of non-fat milk, one quarter cup of unsalted butter, which I melted in the microwave, and then I brought over and added to the milk, and the two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, which I picked up in the Dominican Republic, and then I whisked all that together. And yes, I could use a little bit bigger bowl for whisking the eggs and the milk together, so you might note that I did switch that out. So then I sprayed my muffin tins and set them aside, why I got ready to mix my wet and dry ingredients together. And of course I needed to wipe up the counter just a little bit. So then I made a well in the center of my dry ingredients and then poured in my liquid ingredients and then I mixed them together until they were just mixed together. I didn't stir and stir and stir and try to create a liquid, but I wanted them to be nicely mixed but not overly beaten. My blueberries had been sitting draining in that sieve and so now I put them in this mixing bowl so that I could sprinkle them with the flour. And the flour is used to coat the blueberries to give them just enough friction so that when you put them into the batter they don't just immediately sink to the bottom. Gives them a little additional surface tension or whatever. And then I fold the blueberries into the batter and I fold them in carefully so that I don't break them up. And then I use a 1 4th cup measuring cup to put the mixture into the muffin tins. 
I couldn't seem to locate my ice cream scoop, which would have worked perfectly. And then I put them in the oven at 400 degrees and I had the oven preheating the whole time I was working so it was ready to go when I was ready to get them in there. And I decided to sprinkle the tops of the muffins with some turbinado sugar. It's a crystallized sugar that just kind of gives it a little bit extra glaze, just makes it a little pretty. It's not too sweet, but it does add just a little bit of additional sweetness to the muffins. So I thought I would do that. Once I opened the oven to check them to see if they were ready to come out, I go ahead and add some of what Martha Stewart calls sand sugar but it's really a crystal sugar and it's that turbinado sugar, the same kind of sugar that you get at Starbucks that you might put in your coffee. It's a little sweet, but not over the top. And these muffins will bake in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. You'll want them to bake until they come out golden brown and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Don't these look absolutely amazing? Let's get one out and break it open. Look how moist. And it's chock full of blueberries. These are absolutely delicious. They're not too sweet. You've got the brown sugar and the blueberries to add the natural sweetness with a little bit of flavor from the vanilla. And they're great. The whole wheat flour makes them nice and hearty. And if you like your blueberry muffins with a little bit of butter, that'll work well too, because these are great. So here's my question for you. How do you like your blueberry muffins? Tell me in the comment section below. This video is a part of my series, Fruits of the Season. So if you like this one featuring blueberries, I think you'll like my blackberry cobbler. I will put an iCard above and link it below. And then if you like lemonade, you will also want to see my raspberry lemonade recipe. So I'll put an iCard above for that one and link it below as well. If you have muffins left over, then what you want to do is you can store them on the counter in a um, airtight container for a couple of days, or you can even store them in the fridge for about five days. If you put them in an airtight container, you want to lay, line the container with um, paper towels below them and above them because there's so much moisture in them. And then you can, of course, always freeze them for up to three months. When you're ready to put them in the airtight container, make sure that the muffins are completely cool before you put them in. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. 
I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.